Jehovah, you are ever known. You are ever to do to the Father. You are ever to handle every situation, Lord. You are ever to handle every situation in our lives. You are ever to handle every situation, Lord. This wonderful day, Lord Jesus. This wonderful hour, Lord Jesus. We come before your presence, Lord. We come before your presence, Lord Jesus. He leads your power, Lord Jesus. He leads your power, Lord Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. Father, may you speak a word, Lord. Speak a word of stability of Jesus in my mercy, Lord. May you speak a word, Lord Jesus Christ. We are praying for the stability, Lord, of the quarterly end, my. We are speaking the stability, Lord, for the number of in the Lord Jesus. May you raise us to the Father. May you raise us, Lord Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. You are King of glory. Father, we are calling upon you, Lord. We humble before your presence, Lord Jesus. Whenever we are before your presence, Lord. Father, you are ready to speak a word to us, your Father. She was ready to speak a word to us, your Father. Our hearts are thirsty for you, Lord Jesus. Our hearts are yearning for you, Lord Jesus. Speak a word to the church. Speak a word to the church. Father, you are able, Lord. You are able, Lord. Tunakupenda, Bwana. Tunakupenda, Yesu. Mokosu wa maisa yetu ni wewe, Bwana. Kimbilu yo na meo yetu ni wewe, Yesu. Tumeshuka chini, Bwana, ukapate kuinu liwa, Bwana. Tumenyenyekea, Bwana, ukapate kutukuka, Bwana. Ni wewe Yesu tumekuja kuabudu. Ni wewe Yesu tumekuja kutafuta Bwana. Oh! Speak a word to our Father. Speak a word to every situation, Lord. He knows our Father that you are able, Lord. Handle every situation that is before you, Lord. Everlasting Father. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. This wonderful day, Lord, we bow before you, Lord. We call you by your name, Lord Jesus. Understand our cry. Understand our pleading to our Father. You are a merciful God. You are a loving God. Whenever we come before your presence, our Father, we have not come out in vain. This wonderful day to our Father. You have a reason why we are here this morning, Lord. You have a reason why we are here this afternoon, dear Father. You have a reason why we are here, dear Father, this wonderful day, Lord. May you have your way, Lord Jesus. May you have your way, Lord Jesus. We are your servant, our Father. We are your servant, our God. You call us by your name, Lord. That we may stand up and worship you, Lord. We may stand up and serve you, our Father. Jehovah, how we pray. That the scripture speak to our Father. How can a young man make his way to you, Lord? It is by walking in accordance with your word. It is by walking according to your will, Lord, your Father. That this wonderful day, Lord, we desire to be in your presence, your Father. We desire to walk in your ways. We desire to abide with your laws. It is the day, Lord. It is the day that you have made. 
to gather the QCC together, Lord. To gather your brethren together, your Father. He has taken your hand, your Father. He has taken your power. Here we are, Lord. Here we are, Lord. Have your mercy upon this generation. Have your mercy upon the young children, Lord. Have your mercy upon this generation, Lord. But we can serve you, Lord. We can serve you in intelligence, Lord. We can serve you in unity, Lord. Because you are our king. Lord, you have united us together, Lord. For the reason of serving you, Lord Jesus. For the reason of uplifting your name, Lord. We pray. May you speak a word. May you speak a word. May you speak a word to each and every church. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah release your power Lord. In every dwelling place. That may we have peace Lord God. Through your name Lord Jesus. How I pray to our father. When the church shall stood up. That you will heal the nation, Lord. You will deliver the nation, Lord. You will heal the sick, Lord. Because of your name, Lord Jesus. Because of the powerful name, Lord. The name that we are worshipping, Lord. The name that we are glorifying, Lord. Through this name, dear Father. That those who are sick shall receive healing, Lord. Those who are down. They shall be raised up to your father. Those who are broken hearted. You shall reconcile them to your father. By the power of the holy name Lord. Wewe ni mweza buwana. Tazama kadika kanisa la konfalme. Tuko kadika mudamba mungu wangu. Tuna pitaji saidi buwana. Kadika wakati wa uteuzi mungu wangu. Ni kwamba tunakuhitaji mfano ukasimame Bwana. Simama na kila mmoja katika kanisa lako. Tunakataa pepo mba Mungu wangu uinuka jema. Katika hali ya ukabila, katika hali ya mapendelo. Tunakandamiza hizo roho katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Everlasting Father, may you speak with each and every nomination committee Lord. That is working, dear Father, to appoint the leaders of the church. Shall may you speak a word to them, Lord? Speak to them, Lord. Speak to each and every one, Lord. Jehovah, you have said that we have been called to serve you, Lord. And how we pray that may we serve you, dear Father, in the way that is required before you, Lord. And I pray, dear Father. That you are going to use each and every one, Lord, as a vessel to do your work according to your will, Lord. We pray to our Father, release your perfection upon each and every one, Lord, because you are a faithful God. You are a loving God. You are a God who answers prayer. That is a wonderful day, Lord. We are not here in vain, but we are here to our Father to rejoice you, Lord. We are here to our Father to celebrate of your greatness, Lord. We are here to say thank you to our Father for the bread you are Lord. Asante Buana. Asante Kawezo Wako. Wewe ni maminifu. Na wewe ni mungu manya wezo. Tunakupenda, tunakuitashi. Jehovah ongoza kila moja. Ongoza kanisa lako. Ongoza taifa lako. Ongoza kila muteule. Kadika shina la Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Thank you everlasting Father. You are mighty Lord. You are King of Kings. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. How we pray to our Father to dwell in your presence, Lord. Because your Father, your presence, there is everything, Lord, that is of our desire. Lord, mold us, your Father, as vessel that are required in your presence, Lord. Asante buana, mana we una tenda, we we ni mungu mukamilifu. Na wewe mungu tabaki kuitwa mungu. Kwa kila jambo buwana unatenda. Naenda kutenda mungu baraka joba. Kufungwa milango. Hata kuwale mungu wangu. 
Walio katika ukosefu wa kazi. Bwana unaenda kufungua milango Bwana. Unaenda kufungua milango mtakatifu kwa kila kijana Bwana. Maana unasema mtakatifu kwamba vijana wanayo nguvu mtakatifu hebu kutumikia Bwana. Tunaomba Mungu baraka Mungu usindi. Unaenda kutekeleza kila moja kwa ajili ya matarajio yake na kumuinua Bwana na kutenda Mungu baraka kadiri ya mapenzi yako. Jina lako litukuzwe. Jina lako liabudiwe. Asante Mungu baraka choba. Unapotawala jamii zetu, unapozinua Bwana, unapozibariki Mashia, unapozinua mtakatifu katika misingi ya kukupendeza. Wewe ni mwaminifu na wewe unatenda Bwana. Ani katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Asema asante. Twasema
what seems to be impossible with men, it is possible with God. This afternoon, umekuja mali yapa. Unona ni kama umefika mwisho. Kuna mamba una, unafikiria kufanya, laki unona unashindwa. Mchama wa leo, kipenda kukutia moya kumba. Yuko wa mungu anayeweza. Kile unona unashindwa, kuna mungu anayeweza. Kwa hivyo tunapuendelea kuimba uo wimba mba tulikuwa tunaimba ya kwamba Hajawai kushindwa Amini uyu mungu Mana ni mungu anayeweza Ni mungu anayetenda Kwa wangati na majira Usiangalia jirani yako unasema na mda gani Ni wewe tu unajua kile unachopitia Kwa hivyo Unaza inuwa tu sauti yako mbeleza mungu Mwambia mungu ni najua ya kwamba unaweza Haujawai kushindwa Katika kila mapito ni naipitia Ni najua ya kwamba unaweza Ni jako pita katika bonde la umuli wa mauti Umeidi ya kwamba utaniacha kamwe Utakuwa na mihani mwisho wa dahari Ni umana ni nakuinu wa mchona wa leo Na kiri ya kwamba unaweza Unaweza mchana wa leo Unaweza 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 Haujawa
Baba yetu mtakatifu wa watakatifu Tunasema asante kwa sana majina kama haya Asante ni kwa ajili ya kipindi kama hiki mfame My father, we want to declare your presence We want to declare your able hand It on this service, O King of Glory Baba yangu, tunaoma neema Wakati mnenaji wa siku ya lewa Na pozungumza na sisi mfame Fungua na msi zetu, fungua mbio yetu Fungua mazo yetu mfame Tukaweze kupokea kwa kwa mfame Baba yangu, wacha tukaone neema yako Na uwa minifu wako kupitia kwa neno la leo mfame My father, reach us and be with us In a way that we might not ever expect O King of Glory, receive all the praises receive all the honor for there's no other god like you for it is in jesus name i do pray and believe amen 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 to katie the reading of today uh the text of this fellowship today comes from the book of isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 the text the main text of this fellowship comes from the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 Nitasoma kwa Kiingereza na kwa Kiswahili kwa uwezo wa Bwana Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 it says Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying Whom shall I send and who will go for us And I said Here I am send me Isaiah kifungu cha sita msari wa nane inasema hivi Kisha nikaisikia sauti ya Bwana akisema Ni mtume nani naye ni nani atakaye kwenda kwa ajili yetu Ndipo niliposema Mimi hapa nitume mimi May the reading of the Lord be blessed May the reading of the Lord be blessed the, the gentleman that is going to uh, bring the word of God to us today uh, goes with the following brief introduction. His name is none other than Oscar Lute from Magongo Local Church, Mombasa Monthly Meeting. He is uh, the brother to Idia and Harriet. He is 26 years old. Wana mna cheka hako. Watch ni kucheka. He is 26 years old. One of his hobbies is singing. And a very important point is that he is very single and ready to mingle. Wana sifiwe. Wana sifiwe. He is very single and ready to. So my fellow single ladies, open your eyes. Open your ears and also open your heart so that you may listen to the God's word. Bwana sifiwe. You listen to God's word. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa hivyo nisaidie kusimama na miguu yako miwili. Shango na vigelegele tumwalike mnenaji wa siku ya leo. Makofi mazuri, shangwe na vigelegele. Na vigelegele, na vigelegele. Bwana sifiwe. tuombe Baba yetu mtakatifu watakatifu tunaomba neema tunaomba kibali tunaomba roho wako akatawale kwa mnenaji wako wa siku ya leo na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeomba na hata kuamini Amen, Amen. Hallelujah Amen. Good afternoon Forget about the introduction and focus on God. <laughs> Forget about the introduction for a moment. Unaweza, unaweza, aujawa iku shindwa.
wajana wa leo tunatangaza unaweza nani wakufanana na wewe amen amen you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to disappoint me him this afternoon hata kama umekaa mwambie tu bwana i know you can never fail ayubo akasema kwamba bwana ninachoa unaweza yote na makusudio yako hayawezi suidika bwana he can never fail the bible says he is the same yesterday today and forever more we worship you lord you are to fail you lord and he told him you are going to conceive and because Mary there is a way he expected because there is the theory of a man and then there is the theory of God then Mary akapingana na malaika akamwambia according to me it has to be this way but God told him because the word says that all powers belongs to him he is the one who makes and he's also the one who destroys when as he feel and then it happened there is somebody this afternoon even as we are saying anaweza yote he's looking at it at a carnal mindset na anaambia mtu anaambia mungu i've been trying this it has not been working let it work the way of god you have tried it the way of a man it has refused to work Leave it to the maker. Una we za kufanya. Una we za kutenda. Mambo makubwa. Makubwa. Shaidi. Wewe unaweza Zaidi, 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 zaidi
about a call to serve. When I see we read from Isaiah chapter number six and verses eight. But I want us also to read Exodus chapter number eight, verses one. The Bible says God spoke to Moses and he told me, he, he told him, Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go so that they may serve me. Let my people go so that they may serve me. Meaning, the main agenda why God came to serve us is so that we may serve him. That brings us to a point that serving God is not for a special group of people. Serving God is not for the jobless. Serving God is not for the beggars. But serving God is for all of us. Let my people go so that they may serve me. See, we are living in a generation whereby we address it from a, a point of joblessness. So, naniyako free, atapatikana. Let my people go so that they may serve me. That means it is not you featuring God in your work, but it is God featuring your work in His work. Many of us, we are already outside the line. Because we are trying to create space somewhere so that we may future God. But he said, let my people go so that they may serve me. There is a servant. What does a servant do? A servant is an ambassador. A servant is not a celeb. A servant is an ambassador representing Christ. If we can define ministry from the point of a servanthood, then there are things we can never struggle with. So this is a reignition. This is a call this afternoon that is calling us back. That we have been trying to look for a way we can future him in our work. We have been trying to look for a way we can future him in what we do. No, it is God featuring our work in his program. Let my people go. So that they may serve me. You look at people. And you wonder. Because we have already understood it wrongly. It is true. The Bible says. I write unto you young men. Because number one you are strong. Number two, the word of God dwells in you. And number three, because the word of God dwells in you, you have defeated the enemy. And then he comes and says, it is good that a man bear his yoke while he is still young. Meaning there are times will come when you can no longer serve. There are times will come when you can no longer come to the house of God the way you are coming. The question still remains, how are we using our youthfulness because there are people serving God is never their agenda servanthood is not about what I will get from it I understand it I'm called to serve he is the rewarder Paul said I have fought a good fight and then he said, I've finished the rest. And then he said, I've kept the faith. Meaning in life, there is a dimension that is a warfare. There is a dimension that is a rest. And then there is a dimension that is meant for preservation. Let me show you why many people can never be rewarded in the God's kingdom. There is the reward system of God's kingdom. You might be running, but you are already outside the lane. One as you it is not just about running, but you must keep the rest. You must be running, but you are already outside. So we wanna kimbi ambio, like inu litoka kula ini ketambo. The danger is that while I'm bawa kuinja la ini, they can never be rewarded. And that is why we have had complain. I've served God for this year. I've served God for this time. God is not responding. Could it be the fact that we are already outside the line? In our own mind, we think we are still running, but we are already outside the mind. 
Serving God is based on only two things. The agenda and the heart. Once the agenda is wrong, then take God outside there. Once your heart is, once your heart is never for God, then take God outside there. And that is why many of us can never be rewarded. Because even as we are serving, we are already looking at what we will get in advance. But he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other things can be added unto you. Oh, I can remain with a few. I can remain with a few. Let me give some. If you are tired, you can take a rest. I can remain with a few. Let us post this. Come on, appreciate them. They are good people. And I've said this one. That till you become a fool for God, you can never enjoy his fullness. God does not deal with people who are already proud in themselves. A call to serve. He's calling us to a place of servanthood this afternoon. A servant who will not serve based on the title. A servant who will not serve based on where I am. But I will serve understanding that I'm serving the maker. Serve him faithfully and see the reward that will come. Serve him outside your own ambition. And see how you will struggle. There are many people struggling. Not because they should be struggling. But because their agenda is never to glorify God. God and because they were not recognized they stepped back and they say how can I be serving how can I be going to church early and nobody can realize pastor came to preach on Sunday he did not mention me no there is the rewarder and then there is the reward system in the kingdom you focus on the rewarder leave alone what men can give leave alone the celebration of men you see any time you want to be rewarded by men, then you chase away the reward of God. One as if you because you have limited God. I came here expecting that one year I will serve, I'll get a car. No, God is not too small to serve him for something that will only last maybe for 10 years. How can you serve God for a wife? You see, when the when when the agenda is right, then these things can be added on to us. But see, people are coming. I'm here singing. I'm here. Uh -uh. The agenda must be too big. And the, one of the ways of making the agenda big is to glorify God. Galatians 1.24 And they glorified God in me. If we can manage as young men, 
that anywhere we serve, anywhere we stand, that men may glorify God, then we won. If they can glorify Oscar, how good I can preach. What do I have in, in myself to give you? But there is the ministry of the helper. A call to serve. This is not for a special group of people. This is not for intercessors. This is not for pastors. This is not for worshippers. But this is for all of us. You see, all of us cannot be PC. But there is a place God has aligned for us. Our assignment is to find our place and align to our place. Serving God. Me na kujanga tu, nisikiza worship wa kiimba, naenda nyumbani. It is a lie. And you see, the dangerous thing about ministry pastor is that it is like a marathon. Nona zile mbiyo tunakimbianga tunapeana kijiti. That is what happens. Let me show you. Three people please come. Let me show you an example. Can I get three people that I can use? Now I cannot use pastors. I respect them. <laughs> come, come, come. Let me get three people. I show you something. You see, one thing with service, it is a marathon. So there are people who are supposed to take from us. There are people who we took from. There are others who, we, who, they, who they will also come and they will take from them. Let me come down for a moment. You see, this thing, it is like it is a pattern. They are connected. This might be the goal. This might be the goal. But who ya hezi rusiwa kufika kwa goal? So ana rusiwa apitishe mantle hapa. Who ya kisha apitisha mantle na who ya teendeleza afikise hapa? Sasa, shida ni kwamba, who ya nangoja kijiti na who ya jaanza? Wana sifiwe? So, destiny ya huyu imeshikwa na huyu. So huyu ajaanza na huyu anangoja kumalizia. And that is what is happening. I'm waiting. There is a specific place I want to be. No, we have to start from somewhere. There are destinies attached to the service serving God. And there are people who have kept waiting. So I always end there. Hawawezi barikiwa kwa sababu tumezuia baraka zao. Others walijaribu kuinuka tukasema kwamba wewe kaa chini. It is only me. I desire. This thing is a mantle that we are passing. I cannot preach forever. I cannot sing forever, but I will pass the mantle. Amen. But unless I find my mantle, I can never pass it. You can never pass what you don't have. So the first place is you recognizing your mantle and your destiny in, in, and your place in the program of God. There are people who have called us to be intercessors. But kwa sababu intercessors wangu anachekelewa church, we don't want to be intercessors. Asa tunangangana wote tukue kwa worship team. God bless you. Come on, appreciate them. Can we, allocate, can we allocate our place? Not looking at how big it is. Can we allocate our place? So kuna mtu desini yake haezi barikiwa. Kuna mtu family yake haezi barikiwa. Kwa sababu mezuia mantle. Shida ni kuamba kuna yule wakuzuia. Kuna yule hata ajaanza. See, serving God is so sweet. The Bible says, Oh, ye test and see that the Lord is good. You see, there are people who are just hearing about God. And there are things hearing cannot help you. You have to test and see that the Lord is good.
is not just about I want to serve in this place. Is it your mantle? Is it your lie? The greatest thing you can ever do is to identify your lie. Na ujue kwamba Mungu ameniweka kwa hii kanisa kwa sababu ya kutumika mahali fulani. There are people helping us our work. They forget their own. And then when they reach there Mungu anasema kwamba you want to serve on this land but you went on this land. You can never be rewarded while you are serving on the long land. Serving God. Where we are it is no longer about who is jobless. It is no longer who is is no longer about who is free. Because anything you claim to love there are three things that has to die. Number one is your resources, number two is your energy and number three is your time. We have been claiming that we love God, but we don't have time to serve him. And you see I learned one thing that until you become a servant you can never be endorsed. Because there is there is what a servant does. Once my assignment is after title then forget about endorsement. Bona sifi. The heaven has nothing to speak to anybody who is not a servant. Until you become a servant. That is why he said, have you considered Job my servant? How many people were in the world? But because of the service that Job gave, he said, have you considered Job my servant? Listen, what we are struggling with is because we have refused to be servants. We are after positions, but we are never after servanthood. Na lazima tuelewane. Utumishi uko kwa viwango. <laughs> Bwana zifiwe. Utumishi uko kwa viwango. There is how I can do it. There is a way papa kidake can do it. It is his, in his unique level. So he, hata mimi ni peweko, hata mimi ni mutumishi. No. The moment we understand that this thing is in levels, we can never experience some wrangles. There are places I sit and listen. There are places that I can be go and serve. I say no. Utumishi uko kwa viwango. Bwana sifu. That's why I said all of us cannot be PC. And the easiest way of tapping into some anointing is celebrating them. Anything you dishonor is just away from your life. Anything you celebrate multiplies in your life. And you see that is why many of us will remain like this because we are always meant of criticizing. Angefanya hivi, angefanya hivi. Your assignment is look, to look for your own land and start focusing. Because there is the reward. So there are three people in the Bible who became servants. Number one, Job. That is according to Job chapter number 6 verses 11. That Job became a servant to a level that even the heaven could speak something about him you see once i'm oscar heaven has nothing to say about me and you see because i want to be oscar that is why i'll be offended you didn't introduce me well you didn't call me a great minister you didn't call me a great worshipper you didn't call me a great apostle because i've refused to be a servant there is how a servant humbles young people he is calling us to a place of service not looking at where we are not looking at the level but identifying our place in the program of god and focusing on it and let us wait for the reward take away your minds from men take away your mind from what men can give and focus on God because he is the rewarder number to servant was Moses that is according to numbers chapter number 12 verses 5 to 7 then the number 3 servant was David 
I'm just giving few examples of servants, people who humbled to a level that they became a servant, so that when you go home, you will go and read about their stories. Psalm 89, 20, the Bible says, I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, have I anointed him. So in this kingdom, it is only faithful servants that are anointed. What does it mean to serve God? And then we pray. That's my assignment this afternoon. That we are talking about a call to serve. But what does it mean to serve God? Is it, charming, is it just coming to church and going back? Is it, is it just coming to the worship team and going back? What does it mean to serve God? Number one. Being available for God. You see, the language of God is not about ability. Availability. God is moved by availability. Because once you are available, he has the power to empower you. He's not looking for qualified men. But he's looking for available men. He's not looking for learned men. But he's looking for available men. Young men, can we be available for God? Can we be available for God? Because there is a place in the kingdom of God where even education doesn't matter. I'm not saying education is, ba is bad. But have you not read a verse where I say that a book was given to me and I said I cannot read. Why? I am not learned. The learned was given and he said I cannot read because it is sealed. So both the learned and the unlearned could not read. Because why? There is a place in the kingdom where it is about the help of the Holy Ghost. There is a place where it is about the help of the Holy Ghost. Not the help of what you know. There is a place in this kingdom whereby we reach and we surrender. And we say, we lay our crowns and worship you. We lay our crown and worship. We lay, we lay, we lay our crown and worship. We lay, we lay, we lay, we lay our crown and worship you. There is a place we only require the help of God. One as if you will. And I've said there, there are only three ways that God helps a man. Number one is by showing him mercy. Number two is by, is by introducing to him the gift of men. And then number three is by giving him or her the Holy Ghost. There is a place until the Holy Ghost helps you. You cannot make it. Ask Pastor Kidaki. Even as a pastor, kuna mali anafikanga ata ezi pigia PC. He rely on the help of the Holy Ghost. Napenda ro wako. Napenda ro wako. Napenda ro. what you cannot do be available and trust in the help of the Holy Ghost he is able to pick men mere men and turn them into signs and wonders that is why he said sita wa acha bure bali nita watumia msaidizi 
Listen. For you to be valuable in this kingdom and for you to serve God efficiently, you need the help of the Holy Ghost. The help of the Holy Ghost. The attempts you can never walk on your own. He goes and fights and settles matters for you. He strengthens you. Is it not in your Bible, Isaiah 40, that even the youth shall grow weary and utterly fall? When you fall, is now when you remember I have the Holy Ghost. And when you say, my Holy Ghost, it is on you that I depend. I can never walk on my own. I can never make it on my own. I can never sing on my own. But I rely on the help of the Holy Ghost. Despite the fact that the youth are strong, but it can reach to a place. They can fall. They can utterly fall. They can grow weary. Suddenly you woke up in the morning. You don't feel like even going to church. You don't feel like coming in the worship team. That is when you need the ministry of the Holy Ghost. And unless you allow him, he can never force himself on anyone. You see, for many times, people have criticized the ministry of the Holy Ghost. But he is the helper. He is the helper. He is the helper. You might look like if you are late. But wait for the help of the Holy Ghost. He is able to give you wings. You see, and sometimes you see, when God is speaking to you, you look as if you are alone. Because everybody is going left. You are going right. And then you look like a fool. But wait. Those who continually wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strengths. And they shall mount up as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. Which system is this? That you are running. Tunajua hata wale wakimbiaji, wanafikanga kule misho wa meishio, wanaenda kushikiliwa. But the Bible says us, there is the dimension under the help of the Holy Ghost that you can run and you can never grow weary. Being available for God. Can it be our desire that we will be available? That despite our busy schedule, people create time for those things that they love. That we will be available for serving God. Number two. What does it mean to serve God? To be of use to God. You see, it is not enough to be available. But you must also be useful. There are people that can be available, but at a pasia kisema, ni bebe is speak and isongeze hapa, they cannot move it. Because they are already in levels. Pasia meniona aje, kweni mimi ndia liona na ezabeba speaker, mimi ndia liona na ezasa praise and worship maji. It is not enough to be available, but you must be usable. My question to you this morning, are we usable in the kingdom of God? 2 Timothy chapter number 4 verse 11 2 Timothy, can we get it on the screen? Second Timothy 4 11 He says and Luke is with me get Mark and bring him with you because he can help me in this work that is to tell you there are people who can be available but they cannot help you are not a servant you are still struggling to make a name you are still struggling to make a title We need to get to a point whereby it will pain us when people will come and do something in the house of the God, in the in the house of God, and we are there. 
So it is a provision. So unaweza kuwa uko church, unarauka, lakini you are not of help. It is my desire that we be of help. It is my desire that God will help us this afternoon. That we become of help. That after identifying our assignment, that we will not look at what it can give, but we will focus on the reward who is God. Number three, what does it mean to serve God? Accepting to be consumed by God. Accepting to be consumed by God. Because as a servant, there are things that must die. That means I can never claim I am a servant, but giving is a problem. No. I have to be consumed by God. He has to consume my finances. He has to consume my time. He has to consume my everything. There are people who say, Pasi hapa kwa kupatikana, nitapatikana. Iye ngine nitafanya, lakini hapa kwa pesa pasi pako sana. That's why people are offended. <laughs> because what we own, we think it is for our own self. But do we not know that we are stewards? We are. You see, we ingi wetu tunafanyia mungu kama venyo naeza nunua peremende na upe mtoto. Sasa wakati wakuminyanganya inakuwa nishida. That is what we are doing to God. That God has blessed us. But when he demands it back, itakuwa ni vita. Serving God is allowing yourself to be consumed by God. It was David that said the zeal of the house has consumed me. The zeal of your house has consumed me. Young people, can we allow ourselves to be consumed by God? Receive this living sacrifice I am your worship accept this living sacrifice I am your worship receive it pains you giving to God but again you remember I am a servant young people the attend men may laugh at you you have been in the house of God no results are coming because one of the ways God tries us is to hold our results for sometimes and then we look like fools and then tunakaa kwa kona tunajurumia unapoka kwa kona unajurumia you remember receive this living sacrifice I am 
same faithfulness over seasons and time. My question is, will your Christianity last in riches? Because we have a generation of young people passing who are trying to use God to get where they want. After they get the car, now it is the pastor calling. Where are you? the same over seasons and time. Will your service last in abundance? Because this is what has happened to many of us. Hasa unasikianga tu, tulikuwa tunafanya. Pasi we used to sing. Pasi we used to pray. The question is what are you doing now? Because a servant has no time in serving God. He remains the same. The same passion. Same commitment. Same faithfulness. Will your Christianity? I know you are trusting God because of a wife. And that is why you come. Unatupanguzia viti, unatupanguzia chat. But after the wife comes, will you still come and serve? Can we talk young people? I know you are trusting God because of a job opportunity. But after the job comes and the promotion comes, will you still be found in the place of service? You see, I like, I like Mordecai. Read the story of Mordecai. That how alipandishwa, baka kaenda akapanda punda ya mfalme. But one thing I love about Mordecai, Pasi, after all these things, he returned back at the place of service. Where God, where God lifted you is where he should find you when he comes back. Don't let money take the place of God. Because this afternoon, there is already a pruning happening. There are people, when the blessings came, wakasahau. Sasa atapasia kitaka kuenda chini ya nangalianga, nimeva white. Sasa watu utanichukulia hache. But you remember, receive this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Accept, accept this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Receive, receive. This living sacrifice, I am your worship. Accept, accept this living sacrifice. This afternoon is calling us back to the first love, to the first passion, to the first commitment. What happened after the job came in? He's calling us back. I was sharing with daddy and he said, for a long time we have not had QCC. Where did the passion go? This afternoon, we have not come for a joint fellowship, but we have come to reignite ourselves and tell us, God, where you lifted us is where we are going back. We are going back to the drawing board. We will not leave your service because of the things of this world. It is you who know where you left God. How can a relationship 
ambaye hata haijakuwa haijakuwa ndoa take the place of god and then you accept you accept you expect god to come and bless that relationship 10000 is taking you outside the program of god and you are trusting god for 100000 Hiyo basi kazi yetu siku hizi haizi ruhusu kazi inaweza ruhusu it is only the passion that went away it is only the commitment that went away this afternoon have come to reignite us tell us young people we need to go back that there are people that their destinies depend on what we do now There are schools waiting for us to take this mission there. There are people somewhere who have not heard the gospel. There are people there somewhere who are desiring that tungepata nafasi ya kuabudu. We can never afford to joke with this chance. We can never. We need to go back. You might not be a young man, but God is also speaking to you. That we need to go back. Why should the title take the place of God? You see there are some messages they are very painful to preach. But we have to preach them. How will God look at me Oscar that you didn't call me Pastor Oscar? I am already offended. Does it reduce, does it reduce me to Kinita Oscar? Listen Young people we are focused so much on the things the world can give let us now focus on the rewarder We are focused so much on the re- on, on being recognized by men No Can you serve God in secret Because if you cannot serve God in secret you are disqualified from being a servant Hama lazima watu waone Nikae hapo ningoje nipigiwe makofi basi anitambue No We are not here to be recognized by pastors if the celebration come well and good but if it doesn't come nothing will take his place He is calling us back I don't know where we left God I don't know where we left God And you see the dangerous thing I learned about God is that when God comes in a place everybody will know but when he leaves nobody will know so sauti inaweza kuwa bado iko lakini Mungu alienda kitambo bado ukisimama mbele ya watu watu wanakusikiza lakini Mungu alikuacha kitambo could it be that God left us long time ago and that we have been struggling on our own that is why some things cannot move But the good thing about the kingdom of God is that there is the place for restoration. This afternoon he is willing to restore us. Worship us. He is willing to take us to worship beyond songs. He is willing to take us to a place of service beyond titles, beyond what men can give. something that will only last for few years if all i have is jesus i've got something more than god i will take it to the world jesus is more than god if all i have is jesus i've got something more than god I will take him to the world. Jesus is more than one more time. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than God. I will take him to the world. Jesus is more than God. What took the place of God? Ukielewa kwamba what you carry is more than God. 
then you will not wait for the celebration of men. I don't preach so that I may be seen by men. I don't walk by the standards of men. I walk by the standard of the one who called me. Because he says we are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. And then he calls us a peculiar people. We are called to show forth his excellency. My assignment this afternoon. Have we shown forth his excellency? The life that you are living. Is it the excellency of God? The ministry that you are serving, does it portray the excellency of God? The leadership that you are ruling, does it portray the excellency of God? Mama Mungu alienda kitambo. Ikabaki title. Somebody sang a song and says, I will trade you for silver and gold. I will trade you for riches and gold cause you are you are my everything give me you everything else can wait give me you i open up to let lord give me you lord give me you Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Listen. I've come this afternoon so that we may reignite each other. And tell us, tell ourselves that beyond what men can give, we need this God. Beyond the celebration of men, beyond the woes of men, because there, are, there has also been wars among the believers. But we can focus on the maker. And we can focus on the rewarder. And this afternoon, David said, search my heart, O God. Try me, O God. I desire that as young people, this will be our prayer. That God will search our hearts. And whatever reports he finds, we will not argue with him. Let us go before him and repent. And tell him, God, I will not let pride take your place. Let us bow our heads down. It is you who know. I don't know what took the place of God. I don't know what took the place of God. But we can go back. We can go back to the place of intimacy with him. We can go back. He's calling us back this afternoon.
I will hold your word. Let's open up your mouth. Tell the Lord I will hold your word. Nimesikia neno lako bwana. Nimesikia sauti yako. Nimesikia bwana. Nimesikia. Ni vile bwana wewe ulivyomkumbuka maisha yako. Your child, oh God, I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I'm here to bona bona. I'm here to jamani hapa. I'm here to jamapa bona. Jesus, I'm here to be born. Na ita juni chonge, na ita juni saidi. Ba unyonge na utaifu wangu na kuita juni. The servant of God has talked about endorsement. Hakuna vile utakavyo tumika kwa huduma Hakuna vile mungu akuta kuinua kutoa hatua Hadi ingine kabla mwona haja kutweka mkono wake Kuya maisha yako katika china la yesu Katika china la yesu Yan to be touched with God Yan to be touched with God Yetu mwona I surrender to you I give my life unto you Somebody just surrender Just surrender to him Just surrender to him We will go nowhere Without God leading us, we are going nowhere. Your effort, your knowledge will not help you. I to go You to live on you. Effort is a consulting. As Kusaidia hakuna mahali Penya utafika Kuna jamba mahali utaenda Hakuna mahali utaenda You need God You need God in your life You need God katika maisha yako Tumisho munga menena Neno hili mekuja Neno langkuvu That without God endorsing you You cannot go anywhere Without God Almighty leading your way, you may be in the ministry, you may be in the church, but you realize you are using a lot of energy kutumika just because kuna jambo linakosekana kwako, kuna neno linakosekana. As the word was coming to us, it's just a time to tell God. I realize ya kwamba there are miracles that we connect with just because you are somewhere serving God. And God connects you to your, your divine destiny. And na kuunganisha, na vile viunganisha, mbavya hunga unganishi wa na mutu yote. Katika hui hali ya maisha. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. We want to pray. And I know that kwamba God Almighty is here. Speaking to us. Leading us and guiding us. Somebody in the house. You feel that kuna mahali, kuna hali ambazo umengangana, umejaribu. Katika ekwa effort zako zote As a young person Hata kama siki jana Anyone You have struggled a lot There are things you have Umepikana nazo Umejaribu kuunganisha Vitu wa vingi Kuna watu wa mesoma Wakona masomu hapa Papers we have them You have even tried to locate even a place Where you can even find Somewhere you can sit and do something But it has become a challenge we are here to stand with you in prayer because we believe and serve a God who answers prayer. A God who is able to answer every prayer that we have, every need in our heart. If you are here today and you want us to pray together in the name of Jesus, that you know you are, there's a challenge you're going through. Just move to the altar. Move to the altar. As we want to make this prayer. We believe God has set this meeting here with a purpose, with a reason. Mungu ame yanda, ame yweka hapa. Kwa sababu fulani, ame yipanga na kuiweka hapa. Katika jina la Yesu Christ. If you are there and you want to connect with this anointing on this altar, I just want to ask you by the grace of God, just move on the altar. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu.
katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu just come to the altar don't fear anybody don't fear anybody don't fear anybody don't look at who is with you don't look at anybody just come just come just come katika jina la Yesu you realize ya kwamba unatumia nguvu nyingi unatumia nguvu nyingi effort nyingi just come Just come. Make a choice. Just come. The Lord is speaking to you. You know yourself. Let you join me here. We are praying that by the power of the anointing upon this altar, oh God, on this altar, we are declaring a release. Na tangaza kuwe kwa huru mfame kwa wapendua, mba umekoja kwa imadabao. Na tangaza kuwe kwa huru, na tangaza kufu za kovoana, kufu za uweza, kufu za upako. Kufu za keja hova zinazowe kwa watoto wa kufu. Wewe mwana ulio na mamulaka na uwezo Juhu ya kila hali zote Juhu ya kila mwame na mamulaka Juhu ya tangaza Na kufungua mwana mbingu Kufungua mbingu ya mwama Ya wapendu wa I declare the name of Jesus The touch of the anointing of God Upon their lives in Jesus mighty name Father we declare release upon their lives that I they serve you, oh God. We be mungu na ufahamu. We be mungu mbao na wajua na kuatetea. Na omba nkofuza kovu anazi wa shukuriki. 
Wafuza uwezo katika jina la Yesu Wafuza ya uwezo Wafuza uwezo Atangaza de shuke juu yao Shuka kwa maisha ya umfalme Transform their lives oh God Cause them to be what you want them to be In the name of Jesus Every yoke of the enemy Kila kazi za giza Kazi za kisheta Itunatangaza kwa mba Hazina uwezo juu ya maisha ya wapengwa hawa Wamekuja kwa madabau haya Na tunaomba ya kwa mba haya madabau iwatete Madabau haya iwatete kwa kina ombi Kwa kina itaji danya miozao Baba natangaza kwa mba madabau haya iwatete Iwashugulikia mfalme Asha them from one level to another In the mighty name of Jesus I declare that oh God Let their lives never remain the same again Maisha yao isuwa ikuwa tika ya kawaida Natangaza kuinuka upya tena Kama kuna mame nimekelewa juu yao Na kazi za giza, kazi ya mwofu Tunakata hizo kamba Links and the connections of evil From the kingdom of the enemy We are disconnected them from all those systems In the name of Jesus Christ Baba tunatangaza kama mfalme Hudumia kila moja jinsi unavyopenda Hudumia kila moja jinsi vila unavyopenda Nena kwa kwa maisha ya uhoana Maisha ya uibarikiwe katika china na Yesu Kristo Wana tunakuinua Wana tunakutokuza Manu metenda Asante kwa kutenda Asante kwa kuwezesha Katika china na Yesu Kristo Tunatangaza tokiomba Amen Amen I pray I pray for divine lifting kwa maisha yako May God lift you Wana kuinue Bwana kutende mema katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu Bwana sifiwe still one more thing to go one more thing to do together listen to me church as a church tumeingia kwa kipindi ambacho kiko na changamoto zaidi kwetu and we need who god Bwana sifiwe if there is a time we've ever needed god this is the hour okay This is the hour and this is the moment. Amba potu na itaji mungu saidi kwa maisha yetu. Na tunataka tufanya hii ombi. Kwa sababu ya kwamba ni we are talking about a call to serve. To serve. Amen. This is all about a call to serve. And we are here to call upon the heavens. Okay. We are here to call upon the heavens. Na tutangasa ya kwamba mbingu ifunguke kwa sababu ya kanisa letu mbingu ikubali na ifunguke kwa ajili ya madhabahu yetu you know leadership through leadership either we rise or we do what we fall na kwa hivyo tunapotangaza tunaambia mbwa bwana kwamba mungu we are allowing you to take over mambo na uongozi kwa kanisa la kanisa letu We are going to call upon God and God is able. Listen, I heard the servant of God well that you cannot serve without endo endorsement. That thing has touched me so much. And God cannot endorse you, endorse you kama umejilazimisha. Okay? Kama wewe unajua vizuri ya kwamba hapa sijakubalika lakini watu wanatumia mbinu zote. Kuna wale hata wanaenda kwa waganga tukiwa kwa madhabahu hii ya changamwe tunataka kutangaza iwapo kuna mtu anainuka kupitia kwa njia za uganga na uchawi mipango zake zote katika jina la Yesu ziangamie haleluya we command and destroy mipango zao zote katika jina la Yesu So friends, I want to rise up kwa migu zetu. Kamu meka, this is a serious business. We are going to call upon the Holy Spirit of God. We invite Him in the house. And we declare kwa mbi the name of Jesus. Enough is enough in this old world, this old car. We are not going to entertain. Lead us ambao wa meda kwa madabao kwa jiri ya tumbo zao. 
Tumeenda kuati kuachilia Mungu atotawale. Haleluya. Haleluya. Unaweza Unaweza baba unaweza Hakuna Father, receive all the glory. Tunaomba ya kwamba viongozi wote 
ambao Bwana watakuwa waichaguliwa baba tunawapaka na mafuta yako kila mmoja tunampaka na mafuta yako na kama kuna wale ambao wako kama Daudi ambao wako mako wako kondeni wanachuga kondo Bwana tunatangaza ya kwamba mafuta itamimilika hadi Daudi apatikane tunatangaza ya kwamba mafuta itamimilika hadi Daudi apatikane hadi Daudi aletwe ndio mafuta itoke hadi Daudi aletwe ndio mafuta iweze kulimimilika katika jina la Yesu Kristo Yes Lord Baba wetu wa mbinguni tunakushukuru tunasema asante Asante Bwana Asante Jehova Asante kwa ukuu wako na uaminifu wako Ukuu wako Naomba sababu ya kukuabudu wa kwa uaminifu wako ni sababu ya kukuabudu to your servant my father and we pray for him father continue ministering to him touch him and increase him in faith in wisdom and in knowledge as he continues to serve you we bless and worship you for in Jesus name we pray to be servant leaders. May God guide us through this nomination exercise. May God help us to be a blessing